your 3D printer. Been having a lot of fun with it, learning. It's here in, in the house in my uh, office and it's uh, currently printing away. You know, it's been basically a plug and play, gonna put it together and use it. And uh, it's really worked out fine. Uh, you can see the tracking on the bed there. That's uh, when the bed went out of alignment. And uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to build the uh, indicator holder. Now this was a, a unit that uh, I got from Banggood as uh, being sponsored with them and asking me to do a review, which I did one earlier. And just want to say it's uh, a heck of a machine. Works really well. This is the uh, print that I did off of uh, Thingiverse. I didn't draw the print. I don't. I'm not that capable of drawing yet, but I'm learning how to uh, download files, slice them, and print them. And so this device sits on the Ender printer head and is designed to hold a dial indicator. Now, there are some indicators that they've actually printed that work on like a little flexure, uh, which is very interesting. But I had a small dial indicator that I wanted to use. So this is a, a unit that I just printed. But if we go back in time, my first one that I printed, you can see I've uh, gone ahead and actually cut the piece out. Um, as you can see, I tried to shove my indicator into it. When this is freshly printed, it's, it uh, basically takes uh, 300 thou is what the uh, pin is. And a standard indicator stem is anywhere from 373 to 374 and a half. So trying to, sh I figured, well, it's plastic, it'll, it'll spread out. Well, no, it didn't. So with that, I knew that I was going to have to bore this unit to make it fit an indicator. So um, let me uh, stop the camera for a second and I'll bring something over. So I knew I was going to have to hold the bracket somehow and support this guy from breaking when I went to bore it. So I made a little fixture here. Basically, I had cut, cut this off the bracket and made a fixture here that supports the indicator holder part. Use the one uh, head here to uh, support the unit and then set it up that when this unit goes in, get in there. That's not right. Come on. There it goes. That tighten down and it's holding it so that I can set it up in the mill, locate center, and go ahead and bore it out. The uh, th This device worked really well. My first thought was to just put it on a pallet but when I was looking at trying to set it up on a pallet, see it's nice and tight. And I've actually done a few of these now. It's repeatable, which is kind of cool. I can just go, I have it set up in the mill, got to stop, just pop this in, 
bang, one shot, it's done. But one of the problems is if I put it on a pallet is you can see it's it hits. So it needed it needed something with a void and I just dug through my different various blocks and this this V block here worked out perfect. So basically here's one. It's uh set out at 373 and uh, that works perfect for the indicator and it gives enough uh resistance in the plastic still to uh hold the the uh the indicator which is right here. So this this indicator, it's a little guy. Um I've had it for uh, probably had it for six, eight years, ten years. Picked it up in a tool buy. Um hang let me hang on a second. I thought I'd show you the bracket. It's quite interesting. You can see it's a uh, set up to sit on some sort of dovetail. Um, the unit sat here and you can kind of see the uh, clear marks on the washer there. Well, the guy had machined the back of the indicator here. Um, he actually made a new plate and and then machined it to fit this. And as you can see, it, it was used on a lathe, and it was some sort of stop. And it's been sitting on my shelf. Uh, it was Loctited, uh, so I never t tried taking the indicator off. It's just been sitting there, and I, I don't know how many times I picked it up and thought, where can I use this? Well, I finally did. I managed to uh, take the indicator off it. It's an inch and a half face, and uh, it's a 10th uh, reading, uh, no, excuse me, half a thou. Um, reading indicator and it functions really nice and I put a nice little ball uh, unit on it so it works out real well real happy with it the um, first one I uh, printed was just a hair loose and so I, I printed a second one and took another half thou out of it and uh, it works great so a lot of fun um, Design, you know, figuring out a fixture, making it work, and uh, we'll go in and you'll see it on the uh, on the uh, printer itself. Here's another uh, indicator holder. I printed this uh, to uh, off of um, Practical Machinist. Um, my buddy Carl uh, had read about it. And uh, sent me the link, and he said, "Here's something to play with." And um, I haven't. There's a spreadsheet to so that you know how much. Uh, the other night, I came out and goofed around with it. I just really haven't uh, had the time or the desire, probably also, to mess with it. My bandsaw blade works fine, but it basically um, attaches to the blade, and there's an arm here that uh, functions on the blade or, or as the blade stretches. So uh, maybe I'll, you know, once I do a little bit of homework on it and stuff, I'll have to show you. But it was uh, a fun print. Uh, another another useful, useful item, I hope. I showed you the back of the indicator uh, that I had a machine off the fixture that the guy had built and uh, to hold that uh, indicator uh, f disc I ended up using this collet here and uh, something I guess I'm going to go I've got a few of these and I think I'm going to uh, do some eBay searches and buy more just it's real nice to have it when you need it Get it out of the nose here. Come on. Almost there. Jeez. There we go. Take the chuck out. Don't be yelling at me. Chuck you out. So this, this unit had been machined in the past. I picked it up. And uh, this bore was, uh, I think I had opened it up uh, about 60 thousandths. And then that disc 
went right in there and then I could go reach in and machine the back of it flat. So really nice, these, these squeeze down. You can get them both ways where they open up or squeeze down. Um, but this worked out really fine. Well, I thought I'd show you. I pulled the, uh, I pulled the plate out of here to bring it over to film it. But I got one more to do. So basically, very simple, just put it back in the fixture, had a stop right here on the mill vise. Slide it back in, and <laughs> I put the stop backwards, it was in the dark. But anyway, it should, uh, should line up fine. Let's uh, go ahead and bore it. Yep, get right on it. Now the first time I did this, I stepped it real nice and slow. Just afraid that I would uh, blow the plastic apart. Second little cleanup pass. <laughs> and it's done. Hit that notification button so you can subscribe. Thank you. easy. A little clean up of the edge there. And uh, here's the 370, 371 pin. Fits nice and tight. Perfect. There's the uh, Howie boy sit. Hey, right there, right there. Say hello to everybody. Hey, nobody can see your tail, huh? Come on up here. Huh? Let's see. See how bony his head's gotten. All the bones are sticking out. Huh? Huh? He's uh, he's doing a little better. Okay, let's go. He's doing a little better. He's, uh, we're cutting back the predisone right now, and uh, he's getting there. Hopefully he'll heal up uh, fine. But uh, just not the same strong dog that he was. Right? Howie? Right? Huh? Alright. He just came actually out here to get me.